Sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nella. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. No. Gods no, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time, and returned to stay here at the inn. As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. It's not my place to get involved in their family's business. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? Soul gems are the subject, friend. They're used in enchanting, then they break. Except what? Azura's Star, a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Azura is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. The college would agree with you. But do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black. So part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Take a look. Until next time. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. He doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. The 
even that's dried up some. That's right. College of Interval just north of town. Hard to miss. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold Let's wasted just keep for an eye on the supply. It's such a chore to restock. It's not much, but we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. You mean the inn or Winterhold? I suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. Few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. Oh, I swear. Yeah, mm hmm. Am I making your life more difficult? I told you what you wanted to know. What else could you want? You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. I understand Courier has been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's our inn, and they cause him no harm. I believe he was suggesting their presence causes harm. Welcome to eat and drink at home, isn't he? 